Hello everyone, Sword Art Online is perhaps the most popular series for adventure RPG. It also has some ups and downs along with that popularity. Alicization goes with completely different approach, focusing on world building and even sci-fi mystery. Here we'll discuss the general overview, the pros and cons, and how accessible it is to newcomers and fans. Whether this new expansion is worth signing up for or logging back into. Let's start with accessibility. This season is set on a new virtual world called Underworld, which is leaning more towards simulation than the old MMORPG. It is certainly a departure from the old online gaming. No high-level event or global ranking. And while it still has good action, there's heavy focus on social class, virtual civilization, and also sci-fi thriller. So for older fans, this might be a bit jarring. And newcomers might be confused as well. It's still a continuation of Sword Art Online, with Kirito on new adventure. And the first episode needs to reintroduce the previous cast, recap the events, and set up for Underworld, all in one go. For those with little to no knowledge or have forgotten about the franchise, this can be a overload of information dump. And there is some barrier of entry for both newcomers and fans. Admittedly, it's a risky move for the franchise, but I think this is the right direction. It's been years since SAO dominated the market. New and bigger titles have spawned. It couldn't stay with the same format. This is a solid foundation for the franchise to move forward. It doesn't mean it instantly regains top spot with this, but it certainly helps as Alicization does some things particularly well. Kirito now finds himself in Underworld with new cast member and story. We still see the old cast, mainly Asuna and friends but they only serve as secondary narrative, and maybe around 20% of screen time. Mild spoiler ahead, Underwood is a simulation created to raise the copies of people's souls. They're not other players, but artificial intelligence based on real people. We have seen this storyline in so many sci-fi movies, novels, or games, but Alicization actually makes it work. One main reason is the sheer amount of time dedicated for world building. The souls, the characters, live in organic society with an increasingly complex set of rules. It genuinely has more depth than previous MMO setting. At times, I find myself invested on what Kirito will discover next, with some surprisingly delightful twists and turns. The complexity doesn't mean it's convoluted. The series managed to present it in an organized manner. Furthermore, the new cast is also presentable, especially Yujiro who has good chemistry with Kirito. Honestly, he's a bit of heroic goody to shoes, and Kirito can be a stereotypical protagonist sometimes. But both of them are better from each other's company. And there are times when Yujiro feels human. And I would remember, oh this guy is basically just an AI. Kirito knows this too, and it adds more layers to their relationship as he shares bonds with Yujiro for years inside the simulation. Just from that, the series is already more compelling than your average robot become human cliché. However, this comes at a price, because it would take so much time, I would say maybe half the season, for all the mystery sci-fi and world building to really come into light. For those looking for action RPG, this might be daunting. It needs to set up a lot of things, various new mythologies and characters, which includes tons of dialogues. Smaller story arcs will last about 2 or 3 episodes. The pacing is okay, I think it's decent enough to introduce the new characters, which in turn gives more intricacy to the social structure. Most of the people Kirito and Yujiyo interact with are presentable in terms of narrative. But I do feel in certain arc, when the series tries to be a bit darker and mature, it comes across a bit too heavy-handed, so it's definitely not a smooth journey. Fortunately, the production value is pretty high. The fights are not that spectacular, but they show the speed and weight of the action, and it's always with a flashy effect. I like the details on both worlds, which include outside world. It only has small portion of screen time, but they don't skim on it, and it still looks very good. The new playground, Underworld, 
has enough visual distinction to be immersible. There is clear sense of progression on Kirito's journey, even if Underwood still has the usual fantasy theme. I don't really notice any glaring flaw on the visual, maybe a couple less than stellar scenes with CGI, but that's to be expected. There is more complexity on Alicization, but I don't want to pile all the narrative into one video. This is a general and basic overview of what the season has to offer. I believe it has enough merits for at least a try, whether you are old fans or newcomers. Just try to keep your expectation in check or approach this without bias, because it is very different than what the franchise used to be. And that's it, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and comment, consider subscribing and share with your friends, I make 3 videos every week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.